I like to come out into the grounds to forge around our tower. Um, some of the little things that we find out around here just adds to the larder again. It's extra garnishes, other flavours. Um, one of the particular things I got here is Jack by the Hedge or mustard garlic. Um, so with this here, rather than your versatile using mustard, I make an oil from this. Get the mustard flavour that way. Also the leaves themselves as well. You can crisp them up and barbecue them using them in a salad. Something just a wee bit different and not what you get in your normal salad mix. So let's see what else we're going to find. So just a couple of steps across again, you find more bits um, kicking around. So we've got docking leaves here. They're usually the, the cure to a, a nettle, but the way I like to put nettles and dockings together is dry out the leaves, mix them with wild garlic, and then make a wee, uh, it's an old recipe called dock pudding. So with pearl barley and uh, leeks and carrots. So it's a, it's a really nice recipe, um, something to be able to use. And right beside that then too, again, you've got the bitter cress. So it's a, like a very spicy watercress, use it in salads very good with eggs and also make oils from it as well and then use it to dress the salads rather than just eating it as a leaf quite a strong leaf but again with the wee flowers very pretty nice to garnish but also very versatile some of the things you come across you get excited they look edible they look great but it's just like when you're a kid with red berries probably not that good that's probably poisonous so people think you have to go deep into the forest or miles away or up a hill or down around a lake or anything but you really don't have to go that far to forage. I'm quite fortunate to have eight and a half acres on my doorstep but this is where we forage. Right in the edge of the car park, behind the hotel, in the trees, wherever we can find. Even when you're driving down the road in a car your head's going like a dog, you're always looking to watch to see what's happening out there, if there's, if there's anything you can stop and pick up. 